Hi fellow crocheters, it's Janet with BDDPatterns.com. Thank you so much for checking out this video, how to make the stitches for our new Landry baby blanket crochet pattern. Alright, let's get started. What you're going to need per the pattern is a 5 millimeter hook or an H. And for the stitch swatch, we're just going to need some worsted weight yarn number four. That's the yarn that we use for the pattern. And here I've got Karen one pound in off white. Let's get started. This particular pattern is done over an even amount of stitches. So if you want to make this custom size, you can do that just by crocheting a foundation chain in an even number plus two for the turning chain. So for this demonstration, I'm going to chain 14. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 13, 14. Now the first stitch that you need to know is the half double crochet stitch. And you should already know how to do this. This is an intermediate level pattern. I'm not going to show how to do each stitch. I am going to show how to do one though that I basically made up so that you know how to do it. So go ahead and do a half double crochet into your third chain from the hook and then half double crochet in each stitch across. When you're done half double crocheting, at the end of row one, please chain two and turn and get ready to learn how to do the next stitch. Okay, we have completed row one with 12 half double crochets. Row two, we are going to start with the back post, front post, half double crochet stitch. And this is what forms the edge border on all four edges. So in the first stitch, please just do a regular half double. This anchors it on the edges and makes the edges look nice and clean. So the next stitch is going to be a back post half double crochet stitch. So instead of inserting our hook into the next stitch, which we would normally do this way, we are going to insert our hook into the same stitch that we're in, then around the post of the next stitch, and then our hook should come through into the next stitch. And this is how we're pulling it forward. So do you see how I'm pulling that post forward? That is a back post half double crochet. So it's all just about knowing how to do a half double crochet, which we already do, and then just where to insert the hook to pull the post of the previous row forward or backward. It's really easy and it's a great stitch because it creates a ton of texture. Now let's do a front post half double crochet. So we're gonna yarn over like we normally would, and then we're going to insert our hook into the back of the same stitch that we're in, and then into the front of the next stitch that we're getting ready to do. Pull your yarn through, just like you normally would, and then yarn over a complete the half double crochet stitch. Now if you can see in this particular, the first row doesn't really look too much like anything. You can kind of tell what's going on. But when you get to the second and the third and the fourth row of the half double crochet, back post, front post, you'll really be able to see what's going on. So let's go ahead and let's do another one. Remember, we need to go into the same stitch that we're in and then into the next stitch. Now we're, we're alternating, so we're doing front post, and then back post. And if you get confused, just say the stitch to yourself, because it really tells you how to do it. Front post, 
you're going into the same stitch and into the next stitch from the front. In other words, you're inserting your hook into the front. And then you're completing your half double, just like you normally would. Nothing new about that. Now when we do a back post to the back of the hook, or I'm sorry, to the back of the stitch, excuse me, and then over. And then we're, now you can see that we pushed this post forward, this post backward, this post forward, back forward, and so on. Okay, so you just want to do that until you reach the end of the row, alternating between the half post double crochet, or I'm sorry, the half double crochet back post and the half double crochet front post. In the last stitch, you are going to do a regular half double crochet. And we're almost there, so we're going to do that one together. Then we're going to do another row just to make sure that we've got it. And then we'll also really be able to see the stitch detail here. Okay, so go ahead and chain two and turn. All right, and let's do four stitches together. So again, the first one is going to be just a half double crochet. The next one, we're going to be doing a back post half double crochet. So we insert our hook into the same stitch and then in behind the post from the previous stitch and half double. Now insert your hook through the back of the same stitch. And this gets a little wonky, but once you start doing it, it's not really that hard. It's just because I'm hesitating to really slow down so it looks a little harder than what it is. But I just made a front post, back post, or back post, front post. So insert your hook into the same stitch, pull that post forward by inserting your hook into the next stitch, and then complete your half double. Yarn over, insert into the same stitch from the behind, insert your hook into the next stitch, pulling the post from the previous row back. And it's really that simple. So go ahead and complete this row and then we'll move on to the next stitch. Okay, so now you can see the pattern of the ribbing starting to develop by doing the half double back post and front post crochet stitches. Now we are going to do a stitch that might be half familiar, but the other half may not. And it's the reverse reversible camel stitch. I took the camel stitch because I wanted to make this blanket into reversible. See, it's the same on the front and the back. I needed a stitch, I needed to compose stitches that would do that. And I love the camel stitch, but the normal camel stitch is just, it's only visible on one side. But with the reverse camel stitch, it's just as easy to do, and it shows up the same on either side. So this way, baby, whenever baby is laying down, it's folded over, you can see the pattern on both sides, which I absolutely love that. Okay, so the first that thing that we're going to want to do again is a half double into the first stitch and if I didn't already tell you before you needed to chain two at the end of the row I'm sorry about that okay now let's look at these stitches how they're composed so the first thing that we're going to have to do in order to get this reversible camel stitch is to complete another row of half double crochets and you'll see why this is necessary here in a minute. And I'm just going to do this with you. So just go ahead and half double across. Half double crochet stitch from two different angles. Let's look at it from the top. 
you see the V's, they point, the tip points to the left. If we look at the back of it, there's another set of V's, but the point goes toward the right. What we're interested for this stitch is this back loop or of the post that points to the right. So we've chained two. Our first stitch is going to just be a regular half double crochet stitch. Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty of the reversible camel stitch. Go ahead and yarn over like you normally would with your half double. Insert the hook into that bottom of the back V. In other words, the back of the post. Yarning over just like I normally would. Nothing about the half double crochet in this pattern is changed. It's simply where we insert our hook. Okay, there's the V, the back V. We're just gonna go ahead and insert into that back V loop. That's all this is. It's just a half double crochet stitch into that back V loop. And if you're doing this right, you'll see that what's happening is, is, is that this the top of the row is now being pulled forward or toward you. And so what this is, is this is really a faux knit stitch. Um, if you look at it carefully, you'll see how it just resembles a knit stitch. If you know anything about knitting, if not, you can recognize it just by looking at at it and you say, oh yeah, I see that. Okay, so go ahead and do that into the back loop of the previous row post, but in the first and the last stitch, always just do a standard half double crochet. All right, chain two, turn, and I'm gonna do a couple on this row just to make sure you've got it. Yarn over, half double into the first stitch. Now let's look at, there's the tops, that's what we want to pull toward us, and there's the back, there's the V in the back, that's what we're looking for. So we're just going to do a half double into that bottom loop, that back loop, and a half double into that back loop, and a half double into that back loop. See? Isn't that easy? And look how cool that is. So now you can see that you're actually pulling the top forward to make it look like a knit stitch. So it's reversible. See, this is the row that we did before, right here. I'll show you. Okay. Now we're making the same thing, but on this side. And that's how you make the camel stitch reversible. So the, the line or the hump or whatever you want to call it, I don't know why they named it that, shows up on both sides. Okay, go ahead and finish that row crocheters and meet me back for the last and final stitch of this beautiful baby blanket. Okay, now you can really see that ribbing, that line forming here. And again, on in the first row that we did right there. Isn't that beautiful? All right, at the end of this row, simply chain one. And you're gonna love the next stitch. It's probably very familiar to you. I call it the seed stitch. It's just a combination of a single crochet stitch and a double crochet stitch. And from here, you got this. Okay, so let's go ahead and the first stitch, because we're doing an even amount of stitches, is always a single crochet. The next stitch is a double crochet. And then you just wanna repeat this, single crochet stitch, double crochet stitch, as you would always, across the remaining 12 stitches, or all 12 stitches, excuse me. So we'll just do this right now, real quick. And you probably already know this because you're an intermediate crocheter, or maybe even an advanced beginner, however you consider yourself. But this stitch is really neat because it's reversible, but what it does by design is it creates the opposite effect. In other words, on this row, we've done single, double, single, double, single, double. On the next row, you see how those stitches are starting to pop out? 
On the next row, we're also going to do the same, single, double, single, double. But what's going to happen is this last stitch was a double. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the reverse. We're going to do a chain one again and just repeat that. Single crochet, double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. And as you can see, we're getting, it's not a really, it's not a huge amount of texture but I think it's just enough to make this blanket absolutely beautiful. When you can take three simple stitches and combine them to make something like this, that's what it's all about. This is a TV blanket for sure. There's no, it's not hard. And like I said, if you wanna change the size of the blanket, you can do it in any size you want. Uh, the gauge is in my pattern, so make sure that you check that first. And as far as putting on the borders, again, this back post, front post, half double crochet is on the top, the side, and the side. And this blanket is worked from bottom to top and then down the side and then the other side. Okay, I hope that this explains the Landry Baby Blanket Crochet Pattern. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me on the website, which is bddpatterns.com. My name is Janet, and I hope that you have a very blessed day.